welcome back to another fun evening with I, Kyle, Jackie. Our magical journey, because life's a journey and tonight it's a little magical. Getting here right when the fireworks are going off. But we're here at Magic Kingdom because Little Bird says they took down the wall at Tiana. So we're gonna go check it out, see what it looks like. Coming at night is the best. No one on the tram. It's nice. In here at the right time, everybody's leaving now. <laughs> they must be in a hurry to get back and pick people up to get them out of the park because, goddamn, this is the fastest we've ever gone to one of these monorails. Hold on now, it's the wildest ride in the wilderness. Must be too late for Mickey. I don't see him. What kind of chef is he? All right, depending on the time, I guess we're gonna maybe get the bacon on the stick. We'll see if we can make it there in time, but I doubt it, because for some reason they like closing all the food stands at 10 o'clock, leaving everybody with one hour of misery. So we're gonna try to get there. If not, then I guess we're stuck with hot dogs at Casey's. So we shall see. So, oh my God, the crowd going out. I feel bad for anyone that was here today. So crowded, holy crap. Walking through frontier land. Just walked right past Mike Busey. <laughs> oh, Orlando. Small world. All right, we made it there just in time. I think we had like two minutes to close, so. Got the bacon on the stick. And if you never had it, missing out. So good. Got the jalapeno poppers too. I remember for the longest time, I would always say, who the hell would pay $10 for a piece of bacon? Until the one day I was like, you know what, I'll try it. And I didn't realize it was like a Flintstone size, gigantic piece of bacon, and it's literally the best thing in this goddamn park. So if you never had it, you should do it, at least once, it'll change your life. It's very good. So the wall is finally down. Looks pretty cool. They definitely want you to know what it is because there's signs everywhere. And apparently there's a sign going over the track on the ride too that says Tiana's. It's like they're trying to tell us that it's not splashed anymore. But it's cool, they got the water going. They don't have any cars testing right now, but. Got the water going on the drop. Got the fireflies going. Uh, looks pretty cool. We're gonna be here for the pass holder preview day. I think it's June 16th. So we'll be here for that. Probably get a ride through video. Upload that for you guys. But yeah, that's about that's pretty much everything out front, obviously. Nothing's being tested and ride's not open, so I can really film as the exterior. So I think we're good for, for now. So I think we're gonna go um, catch a ride. All right, got about 15 minutes to park close and we're gonna grab some soft serve because it's the best. 
And then we're gonna go on the best ride in Tomorrowland. The TTA, Tomorrowland Transit Authority, People Mover. Mansions of Venus. Kyle? <laughs> Thanks so much. Hell yeah. So back when I used to work here years and years ago, they used to do waffle cones here. But the cast members these days swear, oh, we've never had waffle cones here at Merchants of Verna, Venus. <laughs> it's like, child, you used to. Back before you were alive, they had cones. But now, it's just a soft serve in a cup, which is still the best. But yeah, eat this, then go on People Mover. Call it a night. The swirl cone is definitely sucking after the big on <laughs> stick. All right, time for <coughs> our only and last ride of the night because we haven't done anything, obviously. Uh, we're gonna go on People Mover, move some people. Uh, I'm excited. Ice cream. I just want to sit. <laughs> uh, so good. Right. Best ride in Tomorrowland. There's like no humidity or heat tonight either. It's kind of cool outside. Stay clear of doors, but I like it. Blue Line non-stop service around Tomorrowland. We still have yet to go on the Tomorrowland Ass Orbiter. Sorry, the Astro Orbiter. Presented by I don't think I've ever done it. Maybe when I was a little kid, but your guide aboard this highway in the sky. The absolute oh, best scared way the hell out of me. <laughs> the little fan right there. there. Touched the back of my leg. Thought it was a gigantic mosquito. One of these days we'll have to do that because she wants to do it. For your safety, if you the ass orbiter. Astro. Please do not I want to go at night right before the park closes so it's not yeah. hot and it's not crowded. And yeah. I can see everything. One of these nights. Don't worry, your express train keeps on rolling through the future. Right by two of my favorite spots. Epcot and a lot of the visionary ideas throughout Walt Disney World. Look, there's even a tiny people mover. One thing I do miss though is when you come out now approaching of the gift shop, Speedway and Tron right side there's no more Mickey saying, I That's right, it's out of this world! Huh? These are two of the that whole thing is gone. For a bit of light, speedy it's not the same. Astro Orbiter, our celestial symbol of interplanetary harmony. Astro Orbiter. Hop aboard and launch high above Tomorrowland for a spin amongst the planets. Parks closed. I love doing this ride. Last. There's hardly anybody here. It's so peaceful. Highly recommend it. Especially after eating ice cream. It's awesome. Automatically, step onto the moving I gotta deal with this hell getting out of here. Saw that Mickey and Minnie are up at the train station and they just kissed. They're so damn cute. I got it. Out of the park. Guess Jackie dropped her ears and didn't realize it and some bastard took them. So, if you're one of the people that just picks stuff up and doesn't turn it in and just takes it, you're a piece of shit and hopefully your plane crashes. <laughs> I hope you feel good about yourself. A piece of shit. Anyway, that's it for us tonight. So, if you watched the whole video, thank you. We're exhausted and a little pissed off. <laughs> So we'll see you on the next video. <laughs>